Alice. In a complete and utter disaster. You have idea, no. You have no idea how much this will cost our family. You had a chance to secure the future for yourselves. And for your children and their children. You'd be very lucky to find a single man in the kingdom willing to court you after the display you gave tonight. And good riddance. What did you say? Mother, look. There's some commotion in the ballroom. I think someone important has arrived. Indeed. Whoever that is, they can afford to be late. So I'm guessing it really has to be someone important. Everyone has gone silent. What is going on? Oh, that, I don't know how I feel about that dress. I like the, this fabric of the shawl. That is real nice. And like the bodice with the skirt. Eh. Looks like we have a latecomer. An interesting one at that. That is a mighty fine dress. Wait, is that... I think I know her. I didn't applaud her lack of punctuality. I don't applaud her lack of punctuality. But she certainly knows how to make an entrance. Entrance? I wonder who she might be. I don't think punctuality is among the top qualities expected from our future queen. What about stunning looks? Not a prerequisite, but then again, neither is courage, and this one clearly has plenty of both. Watch out, my prince. She is coming. Good evening, your highness. And to you too, captain. Good evening, my lady. Now if you please excuse me, my prince. Good evening, my lady. I've noticed you only just arrived. Even those who care little for appearances must accept the fact that people still judge others by their looks. That's why proper preparations have to take time. And if I may judge, the outcome is positively sunny. Flattery is a very pleasant way of showing others you want something from them. So what is that you want in this situation, my prince? Is it an obedient wife? A wise consort? Or just someone to keep you warm at night? Do not get me wrong, your highness. I, don't, I do emphasize with you your complicated situation, and there is any must of a wife to be crowned. I can see you don't hold social conventions in high regard. That is quite an accurate description of my predicament, though. And yet, understanding this, you are here. Don't tell me it's to taste wine from the royal cellars. Frankly, there's more than one reason. The wine, the food, not to mention company. I will deny I find power interesting, especially after hearing all the rumors. Oh, so there's a spark of curiosity on that cold, inquisitive look. And there is nothing more natural than being attracted to power, my lady. I didn't say I was attracted to it. I merely say that I find it, and those who wield it, intriguing. For example, what kind of person does one have to be to be, to be a good ruler? A sound philosophy. A sound philosophical. 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 That's other questions. That just question. Worthy of the author of the Duke. What are your views on the matter? Oh, worthy of the Duke. Is that a reference to the Prince? Um, although her approach many a time is cynical or overly instrumental, I believe that Le Lavelia Malish managed to describe power in its actual rather than ideal form. An independent judgment from a well-read lady. How very refreshing. Please regret the fact that such a fine scholar as Lady Malish does not hail from our kingdom. Perhaps I was, sim I was simply blind to the treasures of our realm. The fact that some women do in fact receive education even in this backwater land. You speak harshly about your own kingdom, my prince. Criticism may be the only weapon of the powerless, but you are hardly without power, are you not? To be honest, I am pretty powerless. Being a prince mostly entitles me to living in more comfortable quarters than, say, the town's innkeeper, but I don't get even a fraction of his power. But assuming I were a king already, what would you have me do, my lady? What changes would you satisfy subtle tastes of learned modern women such as you? I might have read a few books, but I am not a politician. I can speak generally of injustices that require mending or errors which need to be corrected. I believe the kingdom would benefit from reforms and more modern style of government. Isn't that a play with saying that monarchy is obsolete? Not necessarily. An aligned ruler may balance novelty and freedom with stability and tradition. As long as he keeps those who threaten him either too satisfied or too afraid to rise up against him. Against him or her, I would add. Yes, gender plays no role in such matters. At least here we have some equity. I must admit, you are an intriguing woman, my lady. Very different from the rest of the people who came here today. They don't seem to be even slightly bothered by the masks they have to wear. I wonder if it's so because they wear them every single day as well. But you are different. You may be wearing a mask, but you speak to me plainly and honestly, asking being misunderstood or simply rejected. 
I can appreciate that, even if you did leave me a bit flabbergasted. You judge me very quickly, Prince. I could be many things, none of which I appear at this moment. During the last few days, I've learned that people are as complex as their motivations and agendas. More importantly, we are products of circumstances and surroundings. It would be easier to simply summarize others at first glance, have their actions justified with a simple because, but it would be false as we can never really grasp what is inside them. I must admit, I find that dictum terrifying. That all of us are merely actors of some stage set up for us. Be it others or fate, being determined by things we can't control is frightening. You know it all too well. You speak of your family. I am. It isn't a light story, your highness. Definitely not a topic for a polite and charming conversation to make the time pass more pleasantly. I would like to hear about it nonetheless. If I am not asking for too much, please tell me about your family, my lady. How could I refuse you, my prince? Well, my mother died in labor, bringing me into this world. My father eventually remarried a woman who already had two daughters. He died soon after that, so now I live with a stepmother and her two daughters. That is strange. I never heard of a noble house with three daughters and no father. I recall my family of a widow with two daughters, though. How is it possible, my lady? Ca- I mean, stepmother doesn't see me as one of her daughters. She allows me to stay in her house under one condition. I work as a servant for bed and board. Those who are familiar with the family know of my existence. As for others, I wouldn't be surprised if she told everyone she had two daughters and that is that. That's unbelievable. I did warn you about this topic. It isn't very entertaining. No, I'm glad you told me about it. You showed me how ignorant I still am and how little I know about my own realm. Well, in that case, I'm glad you asked me about my life. Look at me blabbing like a lunatic. You must be running whether... Wondering whatever happened to royal manners. I forced you to speak about things which must find painful during a ball. When we're supposed to be taking our minds off unpleasant things. Please allow me to make amends. Would you do me the honors? Oh, I'm not really a dancer. Don't worry, my lady. I will show you. Alright. Alright, maybe I can learn something from you. As well, my prince. Is that alright? You're doing fine, my lady. This isn't as difficult as I expected. I thought I expected to be dancing with you, my prince. And yet here we are. It feels very natural, too. Who knows? Maybe it was fate that brought the two of us together. Fate? Was it that really brought me here tonight? Do you really believe of some mystical force? I can imagine getting here must have been difficult for you, considering your situation. To put it mildly, yes. We can call it fate, my prince. To the contrary, if it was up to fate, we would clean the dishes this very moment. No, your highness, the only reason I'm here is because I do not believe in any force other than my own ability to influence the world around me. I choose to shape my life in any way that I can, I take responsibility for the consequences of my action. Having it any other way is cowardice. A commandable attitude, my lady. This may not be the wisest thing to say at the moment, but I'll say it anyways. I say myself lucky to have met you tonight, my lady. Luck or not, I'm glad as well. You're very, I'm very glad to be here with you, Prince. Have I complimented your eyes already? Strange, I can't seem to remember. Neither can I. Let's assume you haven't. I can't get enough of looking into them. They have these amazing dancing sparks inside them. They suit you more than... They suit you more than well. They speak of wit and intelligence. Now, now I'm sure you have a compliment in my eyes. Please do continue. What else do you find attractive? I will then. I adore watching your lips as well. They move so gracefully when you speak as if conveying a promise. What promise have you read from them? I dare not say it. Let's move on. Your neck? Skip the knack, Prince. What about my chest? Chest is not a word I use. No word would you prefer? I... I think we should get to know each other better before we switch to a more colloquial vernacular. I'd love to get to know you better, my lady. We'll have your chance, my Prince. Persistent enough and, cons and constant in your ambition. But... We tend to undervalue things we achieve effortlessly. Let me give you an uh, obstacle, my Prince. You may thank me later. You really are incredible, my lady. And you wouldn't have it any other way, my lord. Good night, and thank you for this unforgettable evening. Mother? Mother? I don't think that's supposed to be Lady Camosa saying that. Mother, is that... Well, I'll... Wait. Yeah, I think you... Mm -mm. Well, I'll be... Cinders? Camosa, girls, you join the ball? I certainly am. Brazen little pet, brat, how dare you come here, show off in front of the prince like some harlot, and steal his attention away from my daughters. Oh really? Because the girls were doing so well on their own. You know, I think it's always easier to be charming and make a good impression on people when you're relaxed and confident about what you're doing. I came here out of my own will, Kamosa. 
Well, your poor daughters only came because they either feared or didn't want to dis disappoint you. You little. They came because they knew it was important. They came because you put the weight on your sick ambition on their shoulders and whipped them to make them go faster. The fact that you can't see your mistake makes your failure all the more tragic. I... Perhaps I was mistaken. Cinders, you were really amazing. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Thanks. So what are you going to do now? Got any more surprises for the evening? If you do, then please warn us in advance so someone may have a heart attack. Surprises? What do you expect me to do? I'll just head back home. I got what I wanted, right? Besides, these shoes are killing me. Where are they made of, blasted thing? It's the left one that almost cut my skin. Let's see if I can send you flying over the wall, shall we? There. Stay there. I'm going now. Take care, ladies. And there she went. Well, I'll say this has been an, an entertaining and very educational experience. What do you think, Gloria? Yes, I think I did learn something about myself. All of the best, actually. Would you agree, Mother? Um, uh, mistake. Looks like someone has been just hit with a revelation. Too bad it wasn't sooner. Good evening, Lady Kamosa. Ladies, I'm looking for Cinders. You know where I can find her. Uh, my lady. Cinders is not here, Captain. Can you tell us why you're looking for her? Royal orders. Prince would like to have a word with her. Cinders has just left, Captain. She seems to be in a hurry, too, as if trying to get back home before midnight. Ha <laughs> ha, wink. Funny, since Mother's here and she wasn't supposed to be here at all, it isn't like she needs to make it back before make it before curfew or anything. If that lovely dress was as terrible as her shoes, maybe she just wanted to get her back home and take it off as soon as possible. Her shoes. Yes, slippers. Very original design, too. She said they were awfully uncomfortable and then threw one over the wall. Another one is still here on the ground. Slippers. But <laughs> guess kind of shoehorning that plot line in. Better than it. I still can't believe she did it. I would never suspect. Of course, because everyone as dim-witted as you are never does anything out of the ordinary or unexpected. Oh yes, I'm sure you were able to foresee this precisely as it happened. Did you see it in tea leaves or read it in a child children's book one afternoon while avoiding work and being useless as usual? I did entertain the thought she might do something like this, if you must know, but believe what you want, I don't care. I too suspect she might try to do something unthinkable, she was so secretive and com compliant at times. I suppose it could point to an inevitable explosion. I just didn't expect she had it in her. Gloria, please. Sometimes you sound like a cliché villain from a bad romance novel. Of course, it's something not twisted, weird, or shocking you, would, would, yeah, you won't consider it honest. Not everyone is like you, Sophia. Nah, I know not everyone is. You're not. So try hard to be like you though, you try hard to be like mother, enacting the same role in the matter of the situation. Predictable, boring, stupid. Like us going on this argument once again. But you are not Kamosa, remember? You do not lead, you mindlessly follow, and it shows. Shut up, you Open up. Open up in the name of the prince. It's him. Why did he why did he have to come? In the middle of the night? Well, the wonders never cease. I guess this night of change is not over yet. Just as your ridiculous cliché impersonations. There's no time for this now. Though I'm sure Mother will deal with you later. I'll go summon her. You do that. Open up. I won't repeat myself. Mother. Sophia, don't stand like that. Open the door. Let this noisy man in. Yes, Mother. Ah, oh, Captain, what brings you here this time of night? Spare me these false pleasantries. You know why I'm here. Where is she? Very well, Sophia. Get Cinders here right away. Yes, Mother. Be quick about it, child. Captain, would you fancy some wine while we wait for my lazy stepdaughter? Don't push it. You know this is not a courtesy visit. I'm afraid a lot is going to change here tonight. I brought Cinders. Captain, what is surprised to see you here now. Let's make this quick. Now that we're all gathered here, I can begin. Lady Kamosa, you are hereby arrested in the name of the Prince. What? Why on earth would you do such a ridiculous thing? What do you think I did? It's a lie. I'm a respected member of a noble house. Oh, so you haven't forged invitations to the Grand Ball? Thus, you haven't created a serious breach of security endangering the Prince? I... Of course not! How dare you suggest anything of sort? Do you know who you are speaking to? Even a shadow of doubt can destroy someone's honor. So, of course, I made certain that charges were valid. During the ball, I took the time to double-check your invitations. 
There's no doubt that the invitations were forged. You have jeopardized the prince's security in order to forgery of the royal document. You are guilty. But how do you know where to look? Who told you to check our invitations? You might want to see it say it yourself, Cinders. What? Yes, it was me. So you're just like her. I was stupid to believe otherwise for even a second. How could you? Sorry for not wanting to be a slave anymore. Do you think I blindly follow orders? That I won't won't ever, ever try to break free? Do you think you could hide your secrets from me forever? Yes, I also know about Father's will. The one you hid from me in your study? What is this family made of? Mother, say something! Have you nothing to say? Silence, child. Speaking can only make things worse now. That is wise of you. Let me explain things to them. For Akimosa's arrest or any other inability to supervise the household, I am to take the residence as my own. Please, Cinders, just please don't do it. Captain, please prevent this tragedy. Even if I'm disgusted by the betrayal and secrets of government establishment, my hands are bound by the law. As for your daughters, who are also attended by using the forged documents, they don't know anything. Please leave them out of this. I will take all the blame. I was about to say I'm willing to let them slip. But in your case, my lady, if the witness does not withdraw our accusation, I'll need to take you away. Cinders, don't you think your point has been proven? You've established that you are the biggest monster as required to succeed in this family. Cinders, please. Ooh. Here's the thing. These are the three people who... Mainly these two. Mainly Sophia and Pearl. But even Glo Gloria slowly. Gloria, we're working on Gloria. We're working on her. Like... They're the ones we've really been working at trying to get them a better life. But they're also the ones who've been the most disgusted by what we did. Not like... So, like, even Gloria's disgusted. I... I am... I'm down for just humiliating her. I am 100% down for that. Let's see where this goes. Oh, I might revoke the accusations, but that actually depends on Kamosa. I think you should really... You should retire from the position as the head of the house and rethink your ways. Without that, what reason would you have to change? Also, just something that occurred to me. There was some comment briefly, like, if we take down Kamosa, we'll probably take down the daughters. This way, we'll probably protect the daughters in the reputation of society the most. Cinders, what are you doing? She's learning. But she still has a lot to learn if she's stupid enough to think I'll just go down easy and admit a defeat. You were sloppy and reckless, which leads you to you getting caught and putting the whole household in danger. Surely your own logic must lead you to the inevitable conclusion. Mother, say something. Mother? Ugh. The only choice you have is whether or not you'll step down gracefully or if you'll sacrifice the household by denying your crimes. Justice must be served. There's no other way. That's really not much of a choice. Fine. I'll turn over the rule of the house to you, but if you think... I think I can change my mind at any time. You should remember that, Captain. You should remember that. Captain, we won't need your services after all. Sorry to have bothered you. Oh, not at all. Nothing will make me happier than leaving this house and its disgusting little games. Have a pleasant night, ladies. You yes. Cinders! You! Yes? I'll be in my study if you need me. A lot will change starting tonight. I want this to be a house that's not only strong, but happy too. Or at the very least, not unhappy. I think we're all unaware of what ambition and reason to private feelings did to us. It's high time we change our ways and begin to co cooperate. Leaning house efficiency is a group of people close to each other, not enemies. How could you do that? How can you say that now? When the situation is bad enough, drastic action is required. As far as I'm concerned, all sins are resolved and we can start over. Mosa was ruthless and wanted us to become ruthless as well. She's not all out of the way. I'm sure there is a way. It's not too late for us yet. She didn't manage to poison us completely. If we work together, we can become a real family. I hope you girls will come around and support me in this. I would like us to finally stand together. Oh yes, don't you think we didn't notice? I'm interested to see where this goes. I think I might have got a bad ending. It's you. What do you want? Charming as usual, love. Never big on those social niceties. Guess I can't blame. What do you want? Me? Well, you know me. I want nothing. I have everything I need, except some information about the pet project you owe maybe. Listen to me, old man. I have no time to play your games. Ask me and be gone. The girl you love? A little bird who wanted to fly free from her cage? Her? She's none of your business. I advise you to stay away from her. None of my business, even after the small if not crucial part I played in her personal drama. 
Even you must admit I was a bloody good supportive actor, eh? That's supporting? And yes, you had your part in all this. Alright, it doesn't really matter now anyway. If you must know all is going well, I'll keep the word I gave to Cinder's mother and help her achieve the goal she chose for herself. Will you, love? That's a talent like the Kahita, remember? Bending this gal's path according to your own whim, playing her like she was your doll. Weren't you always the one with the mouthful of those nice words, like independence? Not so big on practicing what you preach, though. Oh well, me thinks it must be difficult to let people make up their own mind when there's so little time, and you were in a hurry to run as usual, eh, Kahit? I can see what you're trying to do here, and it isn't working. I hope the girl make her own decision. It is hers as will be the it is hers as will be the consequences. <laughs> Some achievement that is. Girl's born pretty as a picture, smart as a demon, protected by friends her mother's made, and bound by a dying wish. Now that might that's a mighty fine start for being independent and making one's own decision. Bitterness takes the better of you, old man. That it does, madame. There you go. That it does. Guess freedom ain't what it used to be, eh, love? Cinders broke from her stepmother's clutches and paved a new path for herself. Now she truly is free to do whatever she wishes with the rest of her life. In my book, that's a success, love. You really should sure about that? Girl's quite a schemer. That's your success? It's me. It's me wild imagination so she's going to getting more like her stepmother each day. Hope you stick around to help the victim she'll make as well. Be gone, Snake. I've had enough of your chatter. Oh, careful now, love. You don't make the same impressions when your voice is all shaking. I must have hit a soft spot under this pretty armor, eh? I need to pack, and I'll be leaving soon. Well, let me be. Yes, run. Show some strong and independent spirit you really are. You'll run out of cities one day. I think I got the bad ending. Cinders finally manages to drastically change her life and retake her residence from Lady Kermosa. She starts a new era for herself and her family. Thanks to the discovery of the invitation, invitation forgery, Cinders is able to remove Kermosa from her position and takes the role of the, ho role of the house in her own hands. Broken, Kermosa steps down and soon becomes a docile, silly, now old lady. Shout out for her former self. Using fame she gained during the Grand Ball, Cinders turns her noble house into a meeting place for artists and scholars and an important spot on the cultural map of the kingdom. She uses her wealth and knowledge to support her inventions and will always be remembered as a great patron of cultural progress. Unfortunately, Simmons is unable to fix a relationship with her stepsisters. The three young women continue to hate each other, especially after Cinders becomes the head of the house. Sophia and Gloria are constantly intrigued against Cinders and look for any opportunity to undermine her effort become a source of many troubles in the future. Yup, bad ending. Cinders never meets the love of her life, but eventually she's forced into a common-sized marriage with an heir of another noble house. The relationship is pretty happy and respectful, but devoid of any deeper feelings. What does read again mean? Okay, yeah. Yep, bad ending. For too many. You unlocked a new ending. You can view the discovered endings using the wars option in the main menu. I mean... Probably would have been one I would have gotten anyways. Troll of your inheritance, you're awarded with the family necklace. For looking fabulous on the grand ball, you're awarded the ball dress. So awards. Uh. So there's four I can get. Okay. Um. Okay, so. This part comes up to you guys. If you want to see me play those again and try and get the other endings, or if I should just leave it here. I'm good with the other. I think if if you guys don't want more, I'll probably just then uh, turn it into like something I do personal time. Um, but I can always redo this game. In theory. I always can. Um, or maybe, who knows, I might just decide for myself and be like, eh, let's do this. But yeah, for you guys really want more, I can do more and try and get a better ending and not the bad one. Um, oh, I guess it's not the bad one. Not really the bad one, because uh, that's never a good sign. And also, I read the achievements, and there's essentially, they, they made it clear that there's one about death. <laughs> so, what is that symbol? Well, okay, that one's creepy. Um, regardless, there's four achievements, and there's three undiscovered paths. Uh, yeah, 25% variance found me. Okay, I guess maybe I worked really well towards there. I don't know. Regardless, I want to uh, thank you for watching. Hope you had a good time. See you in the next video. Bye.